All right, so you should be writing out as many observations as you can and questions about those graphs. You look at the uh, y axis and x axis, there'll be information there. Again, these are three different stars. Three different stars in our solar system. Yeah. Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. get probably 60 or 70 observations from these three charts. Oh. Not, not, not per chart, but for the three of them together. Okay. I think some of you are being way too general with your observations. So, and I don't expect you to get 60 or 70, but 10 to 15 should be pretty easy. You can comment about the x-axis, the y-axis, the different points, shapes, actual words that you see. Some of the observations can be compare and contrast different the three different charts because they're all slightly different. But they also have similarities. Got color versions of the chart up here on the board or screen. Be curious. All right. So I'm going to give you five more minutes. It looks like you guys can benefit from five more minutes. So keep going. Yeah, 
Dude, help me understand. What's the deal with boys and scrunchies this year? Just let go. That's how you signify you have a girlfriend? I guess so. I've seen lots of boys and scrunchies. Beginning class. Yeah. 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 You are a tree. You have like a uh, more tree going for <laughs> Why'd you do that? Why did I take a picture of it? Yeah. Because it's a weed. Oh. <laughs> I got like a million points I just created my hand. Alright, so we got two. I was walking up on the Two more minutes. Now, your questions might be questions that would help you better understand what the charts mean. Uh, you can ask questions specifically about things on the chart that you don't quite get. That might help. All right. Anybody want more time? You feel, you feel you've got some good stuff down? I understand if you don't quite have 10 or 15 yet. Uh, this is still a skill we're building. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to discuss this a bit, and we're going to share what we noticed or observed. Here's some sentence um, stems that I want you to try and use, or I want us to use as we try and make sure we have academic discussion. Okay, we are, we are in high school, we wanna be able to have discussions that are thoughtful and provocative, as well as respectful. So here's some sentence stems I kinda of want us to, to use. So for instance, if when you're sharing something you observed, you could say, I noticed, and then whatever you noticed. And then for questions, you might say, I wonder if, okay? And you don't have to say, I wonder if, I just say, I have a question, what does, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, if someone else shared an idea that makes you think of something, then I want us to say, hey, when you shared that, I, when you shared blah, 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 I, it makes me think of this, or it makes me wonder that, okay? So maybe something someone shares triggers an idea in your head. I want us to make that known and share that with each other. Um, 
Another way to do this, I hadn't noticed that observation and then whatever it was that someone else mentioned. I did, however, notice, okay, uh, and then I made the same observation and then listed. I found it interesting because um, I had a similar question. I wonder if. Okay, so these are the sentence stems I'd like us to use as we try and discuss um, things in class. All right, so let's go ahead and start sharing some of our observations, and I'll leave this up here, and um, then I'll put the charts back up in a few minutes after we list some of the observations and see what we, we can see. Okay, so this is gonna be volunteer sharing, and we already have one. I noticed that the Kepler 60x had the most light bits in the industry. Okay, so the Kepler, oops. And that was a lowercase f, right? Yeah. Uh, so smaller dip. Okay, good. Now was that dip, how did you measure that it was smaller? Ah. Okay, good. So you looked at the numbers, not just the size on the chart. Good. All right, who else? Yep. I noticed that all the y-axis um, coordinates, not coordinates, but are super uh, small increments. Hmm. I don't know how to. I don't know how to spell increments. Anybody can help me out with that? Is that right? Uh, Is there an A in there somewhere? Hopefully. All right, very good. What else? Now, if you hear someone share something you noticed, give a thumbs up. So while you hear them talking, just kind of put your thumb in the area. Um, I noticed that the Kepler 17B has a broken line. Okay. So the Kepler 17B has a broken line. one that's not been shared you have a responsibility the responsibility to share with the class what you share may help progress this class's understanding who else <coughs> yep many dots hmm? there's a lot of dots where on the first one which which is Kepler 17b okay How can we say that more academically? Many dots. What does each dot represent? Coordinates. Coordinates. Okay. Lots of coordinates. What else? How else can we say that? Data points. Good. Okay. Yes. Can we say that more academically? The, the graphs have a similar curve. Okay, because usually when we're talking about graphs like this or a line graph, it's about the curve, rise over run, right? Yes. Um, so, 
I was wondering uh, what is B J D mm. P D D point two four five six thousand. Okay, so what was it? B J D. Yeah. And I'll just. Good. Yes. Uh, I wonder if the data determines the appearance of a star. Okay. Good. What else? Other wonderings? What other wonderings do you have? What other notices? Okay. Uh, and that's y axis and x axis, right? Yes. I, I'm just simplifying what you said to save writing. Um, so x axis and y axis uh, labeling. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, what do the filters mean? What star is that? It says it in the little box. Yes, it's a star. Okay, the lost star. Uh, so, um, different. Yeah. What are the different filters? What's the number on the wasp? 80B? Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. Um, why all of the graphs did it give tails? Hmm. Wondering why all the graphs did tails. Yep. How can you have negative days? Okay. How do you have negative days? What else? No, this is a pretty good start. So let's go ahead and look at these graphs then. Let's see. All right, so got them all three up here. You can see I've just got Two of the same thing opens. We'll get the bottom of this one down here. Um, let's see if we can answer some of the. Well, yeah, let's see if we can answer some of the questions based on what we see here, because maybe some of us might see answers here that that will help us determine what's going on. Um, all right. So the W or the B J D. Yeah, there's not really much we can tell. However, I know it's a. Thank you. Tell like time, but or because all the other two are based on time. Okay. But I don't know what. Okay, I think that's a fair comparison. You know, we're using we're using the information from the other two graphs to help determine what this what this means. And you're right, it is a type of time. All right, it, and we'll get into more what that is later. So this is a type of time, although because we're not familiar with it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to us, right? But based on what we see on the other two, uh, what type of time might it be? I mean, how are these other two measured? Hours and days. Okay, so this is gonna, it's gotta be something, so these increments have to be something related to that as well. So we could probably expect, what can we expect about this? How many days or hours is this likely to be? Less than a day, because the other ones are only a day long. Yeah. Well, less than a day long. Yeah, that would be, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Okay, so we can assume that this is probably less than a day, maybe many hours, but both of these turn out to be less than a day each. Okay, good. All right, so what about, uh, does data show appearance of the star? 
what is this data of? It's of a star, but what specifically? When you look at a star, what do you see? Light. Light. Okay. So, is there anything on these charts to help us understand what about that light? Say that again? It's neutralized flux, you know, how much light is shown? Um, I don't know if I'm ready to answer that yet. It could be. What do you guys think? So we got normalized flux here, we got normalized flux here, we got transit depth, magnitudes here. Basically the same information, but what is it, what does it mean? What's happening to the light? Remember what I said when we first started? Stars might be dying. Magnitude means size. Okay. So the light, the size of the light is going down in the first lane. So probably dying and then just the bottom. Okay. Almost, almost wants to explode and then go and the light burst. Okay. So help me understand that though. If the light is bursting, exploding, then what's happening over yeah, here? I, I wouldn't understand how it's there, but I don't know how to go back up either if it's dying. Okay. Yep. I was maybe just kind of ran with the light. Is there something going in front of it, and that's where the light curve goes around? Hmm. Why would you say that? I, I guess maybe like that's the time that uh, a planet or something would go in front. Where'd you get that idea? Uh, just the light levels going down. And then coming back up? Yeah. Okay. And you feel a planet might cause that? Yeah. Okay. All right. What else? Oh, actually, I'll just go down. So. Does the data uh, show the appearance of the star? Based on what you guys have come up with and based on what we see here, I, I think, yeah. But what is it showing? The light from the star, right? And there is some change in the light from the star, okay? Top graphs has different X and Y axis. Okay, but what do we determine already from discussion? They're all the same, what they're saying. Yeah, it's the same information, right? Okay. Uh, different filters on the WASP. So here's the WASP star. Here's the filters. Um, and there are different data points. So now that we can see in color, does that help? Helps us see there's a difference at least, right? But what do we see from these data points? Do they have, what, compare and contrast the data points of these different colors, what do we notice? What, how, do, how is the curve different? Anybody? How's the curve different for those data points? There's more data at the bottom of it. Is there a big difference between this point and this point? Not really. They follow the same basic curve, right? Okay. All right. Um, why do all the graphs dip? It's just showing light, right? And how do you have negative days? Is the zero time the current time? Uh, no. No. But where do you notice zero ending up on two of the charts? The dead center. Dead center. Well, you're, you're making a bunch of inferences. Right. Yeah. Let's, let's go back to observations. What? So zero is dead center. If we flip this over, what would the zero be? If we flip the graph, inverted it, that would be the peak, right? Right. Okay, so what, what else could this mean right here? It's, it's the peak of whatever event, right? So how are they measuring time? Up to that event. Yeah, they're measuring it. Okay, we noticed the change here. Here's the peak, and we've noticed the change back. So we're measuring back from that point. So it's not negative days, right? Right. It's just a measure of time going the other way. Oh, so how do you get light back up? Yeah, I hear you. So we could say from here to here, is 0.75 days or whatever, right? Yep. 
Has the lost star like already died? Well, why would somebody say the star might be dying based on this on these graphs? Talk to each other, okay? Go ahead and talk to each other. Why would somebody say that the stars might be dying on this graph? saying that's an idiot or they're trying to get you to think yeah was transit model the worst key 2013 hour star um you know i'm not sure that's a good question we may have to address that in a little bit okay so let's uh let's see here So now that you've heard people share, and actually I forgot. To that. Now that you've heard people share ideas about this, um, their notices and their wanderings, I want you guys to each come up with two questions that you need answered uh, about these charts. So go ahead and write down two questions on your paper that you really want to understand in order to get what's going on here. I'm going to give you a three by five card. You're going to put your questions on the card. If I can, oh, well, I'm having trouble finding it, so I'm just going to get you posted. We will, we're obviously not going to get done today. So, uh, but go ahead and put your questions on here. Please put your name on it, too. We'll put it on this paper, but then transfer it to your posted. Well, what is it? What is it that you need to know to understand truly what's going on here? Yeah. I think there's three there. Make sure to put your name on it so I give you credit. out that as a class you figured out what these graphs are doing pretty well of course we still have more to learn and more to try and understand about them uh, but you guys did pretty good so if you're not sure what to ask you can kind of base it on what more do you need to know to understand these graphs what questions could you ask that you still know now writing the question oh I want to know what the graph means that's not what I'm after. I need something specific. What's here that you don't get that would probably help you understand what the graph is trying to tell us? What, what are some things up here you need to understand? Or what, what are some things about it that don't make sense to you? Okay, when you're done, um, 
I need the charts back. Put your post-it notes on the uh, cage back here on the window. And, and when you get bored, feel free to scrape off some of the some of the brown paint. Just don't. If you're gonna put a penis in the paint, make sure it's anatomically correct. I know some of you are like, oh, I can't wait. Because all I think about is darn pieces. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, see, I don't know if you can call it yeah, though. Because 